the third chapter of the Gospel of, of John talks about God sending Jesus into the world to redeem the world. Yesterday I talked about Jesus being love, or I've talked about that a couple of times this week. And today I'd like to reread that whole passage, substituting the word love. See what you hear. This is how much God loved the world. God gave love. God's one and only love. And this is why, so that no one need be destroyed. By believing in love, anyone can have a whole and lasting life. God didn't go to all the trouble of sending love merely to point an accusing finger, telling the world how bad it is. Love came to help, to put the world right again. Anyone who trusts in love is acquitted. Anyone who refuses to trust love has long since been under the death sentence without knowing it. And why? Because of that person's failure to believe in the one-of-a-kind love of God when introduced to it. This is the crisis we're in. God light streamed into the world, but people everywhere ran for the darkness. They went for the darkness because they are not really interested in pleasing God. Everyone who makes a practice of doing evil, addicted to denial and illusion, hates God light and won't come near it, fearing a painful exposure. But anyone working and living in truth and reality welcomes God light so the work can be seen for the God work it is. I hear love is the greatest thing on earth. It reveals all. It tells all. It saves all. It transforms all. It brings truth. It brings reconciliation. It's the gateway to all the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Love came to help. Love came to put the world right again. Love is the purpose of our lives. It's our inheritance of God. It's the foundation of our being. It's the foundation of our life together. And if we trust it, if we trust love, we're acquitted, the scripture says. We're found just. We live in equity. But if we don't trust love, we live under a death sentence. That's pretty clear. No two ways around it. If we love, we're acquitted. If we deny love, we live under a death sentence. Let's pray. Teach us, O oh God, your way of everlasting love. Reveal to us your love incarnate. Make room inside of us for your love that we might be your partners in your redeeming work in the world. Bless and mark the small things that we do with your love, that we might see the transformation of other people. We might witness lives redeemed by your power working through us, and that we might witness our own lives redeemed. Thank you for your love that saves and renews, reforms, transforms, and brings joy. Amen.